Hey everyone, welcome to Gentle PSD. I hope you're all staying safe in these hard time. Please stay safe and maintain social distancing to stop this virus from spreading. To ease up your hard time, I'm going to teach you about this amazing effect in Premiere Pro. Today in this exciting tutorial we will be learning about how to create a submerged text reveal effect in Premiere Pro. This tutorial will have some insights and tricks about Premiere Pro. So be sure to check it without skipping, before we begin please make sure to hit the subscribe button and bell icon for more amazing tutorials like this. Without any further ado let's begin. Create a new project. I will name it as Icy Text Reveal, click OK. We will now bring our stock photos onto our project panel. Don't worry. I'll leave a download link in the description for you to download. Now we will bring our stock video onto our project panel. Take the stock video and place it on the sequence panel to create a new sequence. Here we have this stock video, we can now start creating our ice text reveal. First we will add more video tracks so we can work more easily. Right click here and select add tracks. Change the video tracks to 5, click OK. Now take the text tool here and type in nice submerged. You can type whatever you like. I'm using a font called Lunchtime. We will change the color to somewhat deep blue. Highlight the text and click on the color palette in effects control panel. I will use a color code for a deep blue color. You can use this to get the same color as mine. Type in 00215D. Click OK. Trim the layer to match the video. You can see that our anchor point is not in the center. Hold control and drag the anchor point to the center. Now we will add the dicey texture to our text to make it look more dynamic. Take this ice texture and place it on the above text track. Again trim it to the video. Go to effects panel and type in track mat key. Take it and place it on the text layer. Go to effects control. Here we have this track mat key. Here in the mat option we have this video 1, 2, 3 and so on. This represents the video track. As you see our text is in V2, which means video 2 track. And our texture is in V3 which is video 3 track. Since we want our text to get the ice texture, we will select the track that have the ice texture in it. In our case it is video track 3, so we will select video 3. Change the mat alpha to mat luma. As you see our text now have the texture, but it's super faded. All you have to do is just click on this reverse checkbox. That's it, we now have the dice texture on our text. Since it's little transparent, we will duplicate it. Shift select both the layers and right click on it. Select nest. I will name it as ice submerged, click OK. Now hold alt on your keyboard and select this nest layer. Drag it to the above layer to make a duplicate of our nest layer. And that's it. We now have that perfect texture text effect. You can decrease the opacity a little to tone it down if you want. We will again nest these two layers, so we don't have to stack lot of layers. Shift select both the layers and right click then select nest. I will name it as ice sub. Click OK. Now we will type in our second text. Take the text tool and I will type in text reveal. In the effects control panel decrease its size and place it below our ice submerged text.
I will use a some gray black color to this second text. Type in 00609. Click OK. We will give this text that same ice texture that we created for our ice submerged text. Do the same like we did on our ice submerged text layer. Take the ice texture in the project panel again and place it on top of our second text layer. Trim this to match our video layer, go to effects panel and take the track mat key. Place it on our text layer, select the text layer and go to effects control panel. In the track mat, since our ice texture is in video track 4, we will select the video 4. Change the alpha to luma. Click on the reverse checkbox. Since our text is little small compared to our texture, we can decrease its size. Select the texture layer and decrease its size in the effects control panel. We will do the same like we did before. Shift select both the layers. Right click on it and select nest. I will name it as text reveal. Click OK. Now select the layer, and hold Alt on your keyboard and drag it above to duplicate it. Again select both the layers and nest it. Go to effects control, I will decrease the opacity a little. Now that we finished our text, let's create that ice effect on our video. Take this second dice texture and place it on the top layer. Trim it again. Go to effects control, I will change the blend mode to overlay. There, we now have that icy effect but it's too thick and vibrant. Decrease its opacity to get that perfect look. I will decrease it to 40%. Now bring in the third ice texture and place it on top of all layers. Again trim it. As you see this texture size is too small, we will increase it to match our video. Again change the blend mode to overlay. That looks good. We will decrease the opacity to 50%. Now bring the final ice texture and place it on top. Trim it again. This time we will change the blend mode to hard light. Again decrease the opacity to 50%. That looks great. We will rotate it to give it more detailing. Change the rotation to 180. Now that looks better. We now created that ice text and ice submerged effect. We can decrease the opacity a little more. We will animate both the text and texture to give that parallax effect to it. Select the first ice texture and place the playhead at the start. Keyframe the scale in effects control panel. Now place the playhead at the end of the layer and change it to 110. This will increase the size of our ice texture as it plays. Select this middle ice texture. This time we will do the reverse. Place the indicator at the start and keyframe the scale. Change it to 110. Now place it at the end and change its size back to 100. This will give us that shrinking effect. Now let's play it and see how it looks. That looks super good. As you see we now have the ice parallax effect. We can increase the speed a little. Select the first texture. And make sure the playhead is at the end. Change the size to 115. Now select the top ice layer, 
and place the playhead at the start. Change the size to 115. Now let's animate the text like we did for our texture. Select the eye submerged text layer, place the playhead at the start. Keyframe the scale and place the playhead at the end. Change it to 110. Now select the second text layer and place the playhead at the start. Keyframe the scale and change it to 90. Now place it at the end and change it back to 100. We now finished animating our both texture and text. Let's play it and see the result. That looks amazing. We now created that submerged parallax text reveal effect and it looks super good. To make it more amazing, just trim all the text and ice layers a little. Now play it again and see the magic. That looks awesome. We now know how to create this ice text reveal effect in Premiere Pro. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. Your support is what gives me the strength to make more amazing tutorials like this. Please keep supporting me. We are finally at the end of our tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this video. You can always download all my project files on Patreon. Link is in the description. I will keep posting more amazing tutorials like this. Please look forward to it. If you have any doubt feel free to comment in the comment section. I will reply to it as soon as I can. Hit the subscribe button for more amazing tutorials like this. Hit the like button if you like this video. Until our next tutorial stay happy. Thank you.